There are only two reasons why we're sick, but more on that in just a minute. First, I wanted to talk about Dr. Gerson and his daughter, Charlotte Gerson, and the Gerson therapy. Uh, Dr. Gerson was actually a uh, just a typical physician. He studied MD, and when he was studying, he had a challenge of his own, which was he suffered from these really intense and acute migraines. And I can certainly relate to that because I actually used to suffer uh, from migraines. And uh, he was basically trying to search for a way to uh, eliminate them or at least, uh, um, you know, uh, make them less often. And he searched the medical literature and he also asked around all the doctors and, uh, you know, to see what they thought about a possible cure for migraines. And all doctors said the same thing, you know, this is something genetic, you're stuck with it, there's no cure, and you're just going to have to live with it uh, for the rest of your life. Well, Dr. Gerson actually didn't accept these prognosis, and uh, so he went on a research on his own, and he stumbled upon a woman who had cured herself from an uh, illness uh, through diet. And he thought, well, you know, this diet thing kind of, sounds uh, sounds like interesting and I'm gonna try different diets and see if I can uh, I can you know sort things out and find some sort of a cure so he tried many different diets and uh, failed until he stumbled upon the simian diet uh, that is a monkey's diet and uh, he thought well you know these guys are closely related to us and uh, we share a lot of things in common and why not try what they eat and uh, so he started going on a diet of nuts seeds fruits vegetables and mostly raw raw foods and uh, sure enough a few weeks later he was cured from migraines and he never suffered from migraines again so he was like wow I stumbled upon something really powerful here so now uh, when he was practicing he knew that anytime that a uh, patient came to him uh, and had migraines uh, complained about migraines he knew exactly what to do right he just prescribed what he called the migraine diet and uh, sure enough it worked but then something else happened which was uh, a patient of his actually came back and he said yes I you know I got so much better with migraines they're gone but also my lupus is gone my my skin tuberculosis is gone and he was like wait wait you know that's that's not possible um, but uh, sure enough the patient showed him uh, with tests that uh, that had happened so he thought you know what it's worth investigating maybe there's you know something to this and so he started treating uh, other patients of uh, skin tuberculosis uh, with the same diet that he was using for the migraines and sure enough uh, it started to work now a uh, more famous doctor back then in Germany, uh, he picked up on what he was doing and he said, you know what, this is interesting. So uh, I'm going to take you um, and we're going to test, uh, you know, uh, I think it was hundreds of, uh, of patients with uh, skin tuberculosis. And if even one of them gets better, then I'll, I'll publish the, the, the paper. And so sure enough, they tested and uh, they, uh, they treated these patients and then they tested again. And uh, almost 100% of them actually uh, went into full remission. So at this point, um, Dr. Gerson was like, you know what? I didn't just find a cure for migraines or a cure for uh, skin tuberculosis. I actually found a way for the body to come back into balance. Uh, and he discovered that uh, we can pretty much be uh, out of balance because of two reasons. It can be one, the other, or both. And the first reason why we are typically sick is because of toxicity. We can be exposed to chemicals in the air, chemicals in our cosmetics, in our food, etc. And so the body is not able to process that, that toxicity and that is just staying in the body and causing uh, havoc. Uh, in our health. And the second reason would be deficiency. We are deficient in minerals, vitamins, and you know, just vital nutrients. Because we are not, uh, not uh, ingesting the proper food. Now, um, this is the reason why 
uh, it makes sense to go, you know, on a diet that's based on plants and organics because uh, they haven't been exposed as much, at least, to pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. I mean, even if you're an organ on an organic diet, he did discover that uh, a, pr a big prior part of the problem is actually our soil. And the soil is completely depleted today, right? We have uh, really, really damaged our environment to the point where the soil no longer has enough nutrients and enough vitamins and minerals that it needs in order to flourish and to provide with, uh, with the nutrients that we need um, uh, to keep uh, consuming on a daily basis. So, uh, but anyway, most of us aren't even on that diet. We are, most of us are on the SAD diet, right? Like standard American diet, uh, which is full of, you know, uh, hydrogenated oils and uh, dyes and artificial dyes and uh, genetically modified foods, etc. And of course, sure enough, we are suffering from that, which eventually leads us to go to a doctor and then the doctor prescribes something which is, you know, some sort of chemical which is causing even further toxicity, uh, which, you know, lands in cardiovascular disease, which lands on, you know, so many problems. But when you do things right, when you actually switch to the proper diet and you allow your body to detoxify through the proper channels, you actually make the whole system, your whole system, your whole body come back to balance. And uh, this was very important in the Gerson therapy. The Gerson therapy is, I think, one of the most powerful things that somebody can do in their lives. Uh, from my perspective, if, if you know, if you're suffering from some sort of chronic illness and uh, it basically has two, two parts of it. One of them is it tackles the toxification process, which is the, the detox is handled through coffee enemas. And then the, uh, the nutrition, which is the deficiency problem, is tackled through mostly raw foods, mostly nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, what I was mentioning before. Now, uh, for those who are like skeptic about those coffee enemas and feel uncomfortable, etc., what I can tell you is I've never done them myself because I've, I haven't felt the need to do them, but... Uh, these have actually been around since World War I, uh, back in the time when the Germans were actually surrounded by the Allies. So they didn't actually have uh, access to things like morphine, uh, etc. So doctors actually started uh, ordering um, uh, water and soap enemas. And uh, they had one thing that they had access to, you know, quite frequently was coffee. Uh, because they used coffee to keep the doctors awake because they were, you know, sleeping that much. And so the nurses said, you know what, well, this coffee is doing good to the doctors. Why not, you know, try it on the patients? And sure enough, they tried it. And it actually became one of the standard procedures. It was actually uh, part of a, um, a manual of medicine called the Merck Manual of uh, Medical Procedures. And um, it was erased in, uh, I think, in the 70s. But uh, all the way up to there, it was actually uh, one of the procedures that they had. And what it does is actually it helps the liver in uh, allowing for the detoxification process to just really, for the body to flush out all those toxins, uh, which we desperately need. And so you have this uh, combination of detoxification with uh, the, the, the proper nutrition, uh, which delivers and brings the body back to balance. To sum things up, you are either deficient of minerals, vitamins, and critical nutrients, or you are toxic. You have accumulated toxicity in the body, which the body no longer knows how to get rid of. Or you have both, which is the worst case scenario, right? So I would, if I were you, I would tackle this with a physician, a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor and seek aid in, you know, addressing both of those things so that your body can thrive and can come back to balance and you can start enjoying life more. I hope this has been helpful and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.